Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Let us all stand as we pray the novena to our mother perpetual help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first all of ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life by this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you, merciful Father. Forgive us, repenting sincerely of you. Of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother, you are the kindest, most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please silently mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground, dear mother. Share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that He who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intention of, of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, Teach justice to their oppressors and bring back to God all those who have offended. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another full of trust in you. We place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind the husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all our parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of service, love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Amen. Petitions to our Mother Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. 
Holy Virgin conceived without original sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, help us. That we may prepare for the coming of Christ, loving we Mother, mother pray for us. us. That we may give our hearts specially to Christ. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine word as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your own Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unreported sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we realize the value worshiping God in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of the world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievement. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. To pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed sacrament, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the Novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy. and her perpetual help, grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love to the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sake 
grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call bless them blessed help them to understand that they are united with you and your sufferings for the salvation of the world amen, amen. Let us remain stand as we pray the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ our Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Prayer to San Lorenzo Ruiz O God, our loving Father, Your Son Jesus Christ delivered Himself in sacrifice to You for the love of humanity. Inspire us to love You with all our heart to the point of sacrifice. Your providential hand led your servant San Lorenzo Rubis and companions to the land of Japan to imitate the sacrifice of Christ and to proclaim the gospel of truth and the message of salvation. He beseeches you through the intercession of these holy martyrs that we be given the grace of remaining faithful to you always as they did that the light of the gospel illumine all corners of our christian motherland and of all countries near and far for your greater honor and glory and our sanctification We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, pray for us.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time and the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Andy Ortegalin. Please all stand. Brothers and sisters in Christ. Good day, Father. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for his full of gentleness and compassion. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in His resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon. But if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion who was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord! Majesty and glory are His work, and His justice endures forever. He has won renown for His wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord! He has given food to those who fear Him. He will forever be mindful of His covenant. He has made known to His people the power of His works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord. Please rise. Alleluia, hallelujah. Blessed are you, O blessed Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beside the cross of the Lord. 
Aleluya, aleluya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine. And you said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a gluten and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. The first reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy reminds us how to conduct ourselves, not only in the house of God, anywhere we are. We are reminded to how, how to conduct ourselves properly. You call this the sense of propriety. What is proper? And there are standards for that. But nowadays, it is more of self-expression. This is what I want. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you see. Because this is what I want. This is how I express myself. And it's a good reminder for all of us. That sense of propriety. What is proper? Ano ang dapat? Ano ang nararapat? Hindi lang kung ano ang gusto mo. Hindi lang because that is your self-expression. Kaya kumisan, because of that individuality, because of that self-expression, people are disturbed. People are scandalized. Halimbawa po, there was once, I think it was Simbang Gabi, merong babae na Usat at the second pew. Pero yung kanyang likod, it was bare. Totally bare yung buong likod niya. And all those at the back were just simply looking at her back. They were distracted. Kaya mga, it's a good reminder. What is proper for every occasion? What is proper for every, in every place. And we pray for that grace. Let us always be aware we have that sense of propriety. How to conduct oneself. Uh, kasi madalas po nakakalimutan natin. Second, in the Gospel of Luke, no, uh, there's the saying in Filipino, sa naniniwala, hindi kailangan kahit isang himala. Subalit sa hindi na hiniwala, hindi sapat anumang dami ng himala. That's why in the gospel it says, we played the flute for you, but you did not dance. Tumugtog kami pang sayaw, hindi man kayo sumayaw. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep tumugtog ng awit para sa libing, hindi man lang kayo nagluksa. Si San Juan Bautista, hindi kumakain, nag-aayuno, 
si Raulo ang tingin ninyo. Si Jesus, kumain o minom. Ang tawag nyo, dusta at lasinggero. Ay. Parang walang, kahit anong gawin, no way out, still you will not believe. Kaya, tama yung kasabihan sa Pilipino. Sa naniniwala, hindi sapat. Ah, sa iniwala, hindi kailangan kahit isang himala. Subalit sa hindi na iniwala, hindi sapat anumang dami ng himala. Kaya po, I have said this many times, every time you pray, and every day you pray, Lord, increase my faith. Even if I cannot go to Mass, even if the churches that I want to visit are closed, even if I can't receive Holy Communion, even if, if I can't go to confession, even if I cannot touch the images of the saints that I pray to, still, Lord, increase my faith. And third, today we celebrate the feast of the sorrows of the Blessed Virgin. Why do we need to celebrate the Our Lady of Sorrows. The Our Lady of Sorrows signifies the spiritual martyrdom of the Blessed Virgin. She was not physically martyred, but her heart was crushed. The spiritual martyrdom, yung pigati ni Maria. And according to to tradition, Mary had seven sorrows. Seven sorrows. The prophecy, one is the prophecy of Simeon in the temple. Now let your servant come in peace. Habi ni Simeon, nakita ko ng Panginoon ang magliligtas sa atin. Parang kagulat-gulat isang sanggol na hawak ni Maria. Ano bang, ano bang klaseng anak ito? Napakadakila ng inaasahan. Siguro Mary was so pressured. One sorrow of the Blessed Virgin. During the time for her, it, it may have been something unimaginable. How the old man and holy man Simeon prophesied about Jesus. That's one. The prophecy of Simeon in the temple. The second is the flight to Egypt. Yung mga firstborn, papatahin. Kaya kailangan nilang tumakas, maglakbay ng napakalayo. And carrying your baby, wanting your baby to be safe. And you don't know where to go. Di mo alam kung abutan kayo ng kaaway. The flight to Egypt. Another sorrow, the second sorrow of Mary. The third is the disappearance of the child Jesus in the temple. Remember, Jesus was lost. Nagpaiwang pala sa temple. They were traveling. And only after a while, doon nila na naalala, nasaan kaya si Jesus? Losing a child will bring so much sorrow in a mother. Just imagine, mawalang ka ng anak. And there are mothers na nababaliw, na isiraan ng bait. Another sorrow of Mary. The fourth is the carrying of the cross. If you are a mother watching your son carrying a heavy big cross, parang siguro isipin ni Maria, ano bang nagawa ng anak ko that he deserves to carry that cross? At Maybe Mary was telling herself, Sana ako na lang ang may dila ng cross. Like what, like what other mothers will say. The fifth sorrow of Mary is the crucifixion. Again, watching your son being crucified, hearing the pain, the cries, the cry of Jesus, feeling the pain of your son. It was sorrowful crucifixion. The sixth is 
the taking down from the cross. Yung anak mong inalagaan, ayan, patay na. Nasa kamay mo, patay na wala ng buhay. Kasi, in chronological order, ang dapat mamatay, yung matanda. Lolo, magulang, anak. Pag nauna ang anak na mamatay sa magulang, mas doble ang sakit. And the, and the seventh sorrow is the burial of Jesus. Children are the one who should bury their parents, not parents burying their children. Ang mga anak ang nagpapalibing sa magulang, hindi ang magulang ang nagpapalibing sa anak. Pag ang magulang nagpalibing sa anak, let's imagine the pain. Let's imagine the pain. Yung niluwal mo, pinalaki mo. Those are the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin. Talagang dudurugin ng puso mo. The prophecy of Simeon in the temple. The flight to Egypt. The disappearance of the child Jesus in the temple. The carrying of the cross. The crucifixion. The taking down of the body of Jesus from the cross. And the burial of Jesus. The seven sorrows of Mary. But Mary was able to endure <clears throat> all these sorrows because of her faith. And faith will give us the strength to bear all the pains that we experience and will encounter. It is faith. Pag matibay ang paniniwala sa Diyos at pananampalataya sa Diyos, anumang dalamhati, habdi, sakit na maranasan ng tao, kanyang makakayanan. Because in faith, you have a companion in Jesus. Jesus will be there to unburden you, to help you carry your cross. And last, sorrows are opportunities for blessings. Remember during the Annunciation, when the angel appeared and told her, Ikaw ang magiging ina, naguluhan si Maria. But when it was, when, but when she said yes, yan. it was the dawn of salvation. Looking at Jesus being crucified, it was sorrowful. Much more seeing your son dead. But that sorrow turned into salvation. That death turned into salvation. That's why sorrows are also opportunities for us to learn. And for us, to look at things more clearly and opportunities for graces and blessings. Kaya hindi po lahat ng kalungkutan ay nakakapagpasama sa atin. May mga kalungkutan at madalas ang kalungkutan nagbibigay ng pangkataon para mas tumibay tayo at makita natin ng malinaw ano ang dapat gawin. These are opportunities being given by God. May Jesus continue to bless us through the intercession of Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer through sickness may find in Mary a true refuge and consolation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us include in our prayers the thanksgiving and petitions offered in this Mass. Special way we remember the petitions of Ephraim and Julie Go, Mother Maria, Shirley, Loretta, Constantia, Virgie, Diana, Cheryl, Joy, Alinho family. And for those celebrating their birthdays, may God continue to bless them, especially Baby Lynn, Malati Padua, and Virgie. And those celebrating their anniversary, especially for the 20th wedding anniversary of Jason and Dina. And we continue to pray for the healing of all those who are sick. Especially by the Rolly Padawan, Rudy and Linda Magnayi, Rudes Nakayan, Don De Besa. And for the repose of all the souls, especially the souls of Brother Marshall, Rose, Juancho, Santiago, Freya. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God all of our prayers and petitions. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. 
For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the scripture you pray, descending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For it is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please rise. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial with that and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Submersion us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions, and all the saints of pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us sing the Lord's Prayer.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Please rise. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Muli po maraming salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating online Mass. This coming Sunday, we will start our novena in honor of St. Lorenzo Ruiz. But this Sunday, our first day novena will be online. Naho. We will still not open our church until we complete the two weeks lockdown. Ano po? As a protocol. Yeah po. Please, please join us in our novena, which will start this coming Sunday. For this Sunday, the novena mass will be at 8:30 in the morning. 
During weekdays, Monday to Saturday, the Novena Masses will be at 12.15 noon. And for your intentions, you can text or send it through our Facebook or text it to, uh, through our mobile phone. Salamat po sa inyo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mabuting araw po sa inyong lahat. Samang martir sa lupa at sa langit, sila ay dadakilain. Salamat sa may kapal sa banal na biyaya, tinanghal ng daigdig, kayo mang Sa rosaryo ng birhen, kami yung kasama. Iyo ang namin puso, Lorenzo de Manila. Iyo ang namin puso, Lorenzo de Manila.